Thanks for have tuned in. In today's video we will give a closer look at the Hungarian tank, the Turin 3. The order on how this video is structured is the following. First, we will talk about the history of the Turin 3. His stats and compare them to others to define his strength and weaknesses in War Thunder. And after that, we will talk about how I suggest to play this tank. And in the end, a small conclusion. So grab some popcorn and enjoy the video. The history behind the Hungarian tank Turin 3. By 1943, Hungarian tanks currently in production were becoming obsolete and struggled against more modern and well armored Soviet tanks. The cannons of the Hungarian tanks were too weak and couldn't destroy the tough Soviet tanks they were encountering. They came up with various solutions to this problem. They bought modern German tanks, they developed the Serini assault gun and they developed an indigenous heavy medium tank, the 44M TUS. On top of acquiring new tanks, they also tried to develop their already existing tanks. By developing their 41M2 medium tank further in an attempt to increase its firepower. And by redesigning its whole turret and replacing the short barreled 75mm gun of the Turin 2 with the long barreled, much more powerful 75mm 43M tank gun and improving its armor, the Turin 3 came to existence. Two 75mm 43M tank guns were manufactured. These were built into the Turin 3 and the 44M Srini. The Hungarian 75mm 43M was developed from the blueprints of the German 75mm Pac-40 anti-tank gun. Being a heavily modified derivative anti-tank gun that was converted into a tank gun, it is not a direct copy of the Pac-40. Two Turin 3 vehicles were produced a prototype and a fully functioning vehicle for the trial in February 1944. Mobility and firing tests were carried out, however no more 43M Turins were constructed because of the lack of materials and the fact that after the occupation of Hungary in March 1944, Germany did not allow further tank and gun production and restricted Hungarian industry to only spare part manufacturing level. However, this was most likely circumvented in the case of the 44M test development. Now that we have the history part behind us, let's move on to its stats in War Thunder. As previously mentioned, the Turin 3 has a better armor and firepower to his previous models. The armor will not save you though from any Sherman or T-34 you will ever encounter. Your better performing cannon, on the other hand, will destroy every Sherman, T-34 or KV you will ever encounter, even in up-tier battles. The Turin 3 has a decent reload rate, as fast as the Panzer IV, what means faster as the T-34 and KV-1, but slower than the Shermans. The turret rotation is better than the Panzer IV, but worse than everything else you will encounter. It has decent mobility with a 244 horsepower engine at 2200 rpm with a mass of 19.8 tons giving it a max speed of 43 km per hour. Now how to use the turn 3? From my experience from my battle I suggest to play it on a flank position or as a support vehicle. Your biggest advantage is your cannon that shreds through everything and I found it really good holding a position, a crucial point, or just cutting off reinforcements from the side. I suggest you to take between 9 and 22 rounds. If you take 9, you will have 1 in the chamber and 8 underneath your crew. Every other between 9 and 22 will be stored additionally on the left and on the right side of the tank. And every more you take, after 22 will be in the turret and I really don't recommend that since your survivability in this tank is not that high in the first place. Let's wrap this video up with the final point, the conclusion. The turret 3 is a funny tank to play. This big firepower can lead to satisfying flanks where the kills just roll in. Please be careful nonetheless since you die faster than you may think. If you liked what you saw please leave a like. If you want to see more such videos please subscribe to the channel 
join the discord to be up to date and check out my twitch channel tell me please in the comments which tank you would like to see next and also let me know if you saw any points i could improve on thanks for watching see you next time